All right, so here it is all finished. And I guess we'll start with the scale since it's the main piece to this knife. But there it is in the purple camo fat carbon. As you can tell, it's just an awesome material. Can't get enough of it, but really, really happy with the outcome. You even get that shimmer on the edge. Just a really, really cool effect. And then I also gave it a nice finish on the back. As you guys can see, you get that cool shimmer. And once it's put together, you can actually peer into it. Since the gap is pretty big, you can see inside of the inside of the scale. So it just looks really cool and it gives you a cool viewpoint. But there's that. Uh, the, the most frustrating part was probably the stop pin. Uh, to get that hole exactly where it needs to be is always a challenge, especially with these uh, very high precision and really really accurate parts it's just tough to get it exact but patience will get you there i promise and i guess we can go to the pocket clip since i made a custom pocket clip for it and i just copied the shape of the scale so that way you have kind of a nice flow and look to it again you get that cool effect just underneath just a really really cool material but the tension is really good. I made it a little bit thicker. And I think I'm going to do that from now on is keep it just a little bit thicker because you get a stronger tension. And it works really, really good. The only issue I had was trying to do these holes by hand. The issue I was having was since this is so close, this little gap right here, this little bridge. When I was doing it by hand, it was bumping into it. So I'd get the hole, the first hole perfect. And then the second hole would actually bump into it and actually break this little bridge. So as you guys saw in the video, I actually had to use the CNC. Thank God for that. And I got it perfect. But I think it was eight attempts until I got this just right from the CNC. But I got it and really happy that it works and it functions. And then the last thing I did was I anodized the hardware in nice purple, as you guys can see, to match the scale. I think it looks really good. I did put the steel insert hardware back in. As you guys can see, you can see the contrast between the black. I think it looks really good. It's a little bit darker, but I think it goes very well with the, the scales themselves. That's pretty much it. 
Oh, I wanted to show you guys the thumb studs as well. Anodize those. You can see the, the purple on that against camera's really not picking it up, but we're really happy with how they turned out. So now that we went through what I did, let's put this thing together and see what it looks like. Alright, so here it is all put together. I'm really, really happy with it, especially the anodizing. Wanted to get it close to that darker purple and the scales you can see there at the top. So really happy with how it's clashing, especially on this side with the black and stone washed titanium. It just pops really, really well. All around, just, I think it looks good. Really happy with the pocket clip. Again, made it a little bit thicker. So it has more tension, so it's really strong. And as always, let me know what you guys think down below of how this thing turned out. Okay, just a quick look at that fat carbon. And the action is awesome on this. It's very, it's very good. It'll catch your thumb if you're not paying attention. And I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but there's that little ting sound, which you get it every now and then. I don't know. I, I guess you have to have your finger in the right placement, but it chooses when it wants to do it, but it's just an awesome, awesome sound. Here it is deployed, opened up, just goes really well. And again, that pocket clip is, I just copy the shape of the scale. So you guys can see right there, looks pretty similar. Made it nice and low in the front so it doesn't bug you. And it is not a hot spot. So hopefully Drew has the same hand size as me and He'll he'll like it too since it doesn't really doesn't really bug you, which is kind of the pocket clip I like to go for a nice low profile. That's why I like to kind of keep it high and then bend it low here in the front, or shape it low. That way it's not it's not going to bother you. It feels really good. Just an awesome knife all around. Even before I customized it, and I definitely want to get the the J Cape with the mini version. Really would really love one in my collection, but. Awesome knife, would recommend it if you guys can pick one up. The grinds on the blade are just really, really cool. And one thing I wanted to check was the weight of this thing. Let's see if we made it lighter. I believe we did. The original weight was 4.80 ounces. So we are looking at 4.59. So we shaved off about, about 0 0.30 ounces. So not bad, it's a little lighter, which is always a plus. And I was thinking about doing the CNC and milling out some pockets, but again, I don't know how to fully use it to its fullest potential yet. So maybe in the future, I'll be able to do stuff like that and put cool designs and textures on the scales, but that is it. The Something Obscene J Cape in Fat Carbon. Can't wait to ship this out and see what Drew thinks of it. But yeah, really happy with the outcome. I'm gonna clean up the anodized parts just so they pop with color because I can already tell my my oils are already affecting it, but not a big deal. And as always, thank you for watching. Really appreciate the support. And I will see you guys on the next one.